Okay. Yep. So again, and tell me, um, for the people who hasn't had the chance yet to meet you or know about the other guy who used to cut people, uh, what was your job in the making of Toy Story? What did you do in the realization of Toy Story 2? Um, I was the supervising technical director, so I oversaw all of the modeling, shading, lighting, special effects, and rendering for the film. And you had a lot of work to do this time. A lot of work to do, absolutely. Was this, in that sense, more complicated than the first one? Sure. We, we had a lot more going on visually in, the, in this film than we did the last one. I mean, the last one had its unique challenges because it was our first, and so we were discovering how to make movies. On this one, it was, it was more... Wow, we, we kind of knew that, and we had all this technology that we could bring to bear, but we wanted to make a, a Toy Story sequel, something that looked and had the charm of Toy Story, but was more visually compelling, something that you know audiences today would expect to see. So that was our challenge, really. And I noticed that in this film, we, we managed to see much more of the humans that we Absolutely. did in the first one. Yeah. How, how tough that was on you? <laughs> well, you know, it, it was tough. We, we knew at the beginning that was something we were going to have to spend some time on, that the humans popped us a little bit in Toy Story out, out of the story. Um, they didn't feel like they fit as seamlessly into the rest of the world, and so we knew we, we needed to, to make an effort to do a better job this time around. And, um, and so we spent a lot of time with that, spent a lot of time. And uh, what in general would you say this film is better or different than the first? Or if not better, just different than the, the original one. O que que esse filme tem de diferente do primeiro filme? Do, in, in terms of technically? No, no, I mean in, in terms of the whole thing. To in terms of the whole thing, I think that... Um, so the people can know more or less what they <coughs> expect of people. I think that we, we try to open up the pacing a little bit. I think what we try to do is, is, is give a little bit more space for some more emotion. Um, the, the, if you think about the pacing of Jessie's song and, and her whole backstory, that, that's a pacing that we didn't do in our prior film. We, we didn't really open things up for that kind of emotion before. So I think that's probably the biggest difference. It's really, there's a, a lot more there in terms of, of the pace and emotion. Funny question. How much the, the animators had, how much fun did the animators have having the chance to finally play with the Barbie, something that their mothers <laughs> never let them do? Como foi que os rapazes poderiam brincar com a Barbie? We had a great time with Barbie. That was that was a lot of fun. We really had a good time pulling all the Barbie stuff together, and the guys did have a good time. And and actually, the people doing modeling and shading, of course, had a, a wonderful time. Um, but I think the funniest thing of all was was we had a contest for what the the Barbie that Amy has, you know, at the end in the backpack with the prospector, what was going to be on that other side, and we had. You know, dozens and dozens of submissions of people doing all of these bizarre things to Barbie, and, and we had this huge lineup to choose from about ideas for what might be on the other side of Barbie. Oh, and it was fun. Why, why that one won? Pardon? Oh, why didn't? Oh, because it was it, it it wasn't horrible. You know, it was one of those a little girl trying to you know mm -hmm. to be an artist on her Barbie doll. We had some really bizarre things like. Darth Maul Barbie and you know <laughs> all kinds of really weird things. <laughs>